It's one of the world's great football arenas and will host this summer's World Cup final. The Maracanã in Rio de Janeiro is an emblem of the passion Brazilians have for the beautiful game, a sport introduced to the country by Scots in the late 19th century. It's just one example of the impact Scotland has had on the world's most popular sport. And it was an Edinburgh law student, John Hope, pictured here in later life, who founded the world's first documented football club in 1824. Hope has listed in his own handwriting the members of the club uh, and the subscriptions that they paid uh, annually to help uh, meet all the expenses. So his name is, is at the top here, followed by various other uh, names of his friends and associates um, who were either students at Edinburgh University studying law like himself or were uh, perhaps law apprentices or were the sons of uh, local um, professional men. The records are very important indeed. It's the first uh, recorded uh, records of a, an organised football club in, in the world as far as we know. Um, it was founded by this University of Edinburgh student, John Hope, who was 17 years old, studying law, and they showed it was a club that re met regularly, played regularly, and was uh, really the first one to be uh, organised in this way. And so it's, it's hugely significant in, in the development of the game in Scotland, but also across the world. John Hope's pioneering ethos continues to this day with the university's own football team. Next season, it will play in the recently expanded Scottish Lowland Football League, offering a path to the Scottish Professional Football League in future years. It's an echo of the determination to break new ground, which led Edinburgh students to compete for this medal in 1851, regarded as the oldest football trophy in the world. The match uh, was between Edinburgh University and the 93rd Highlanders. The 93rd Highlanders are a very good side and they managed to win that, that game by three goals to nil. Uh, and two, two to their words, uh, Edinburgh University Football Club went out and uh, went to local jewellers and had the medal created and presented it to the, the 93rd Regiment. And that's why, thankfully, we've got it here today in this exhibition. What we call systematic passing, we set a Scottish invention. Uh, Queen's Park Football Club, Scotland's first association club, uh, can certainly lay claim to have really created that style of game, dating back probably from about 1872. Uh, they first kind of played a short passing game in FA Cup tie against the Wanderers of London. Uh, and a few months later, when Queen's Park organised the first international match, Scotland versus England, uh, not far from where we are, just down Kelvin Grove, uh, the West Scotland cricket ground, um, that Scotland England match was also uh, a game in which short passing was played as well by the Scotland team. Um, and that's the game, it became a Scottish style, and it's a game that Scots took throughout the world, not just uh, throughout the British Empire, but further afield to places like South America, where railway engineers, Scottish railway engineers, were very important in helping to, to bring football um, to places like Uruguay, Argentina, and of course, Brazil. The university has always recognised football's ability to bring about social change and improve education. In 2012, the world's most famous exponent of the game, Pele, was honoured by Edinburgh for his charitable work. Very emotional, you know, for someone who, you know, travel all over the world. To, I didn't expect that, <laughs> but uh, I have to thank not uh, only my family, but uh, all my friends, my players, because you could not do things alone. I have a lot of people who help me to be here. With an office in San Paolo, which allows the university to engage directly with students, alumni and academic partners across Latin America, Edinburgh is leading the way by working with the best and brightest across the region, pioneering tactics which John Hope would no doubt approve of.